So finally Nothing Phone also received an update of Nothing OS 2.5.6 and in this video we'll talk about every change and fixes what Nothing brings on the table for Nothing Phone 1 with this latest update. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I have my Nothing Phone 1 which I've already updated to the latest build of Nothing OS 2.5.6. So if you go to about section, here you can see Nothing OS version is 2.5.6, Android version is 14, it comes with 1st June 2024 security patch. Talking about the build number, build number is 2149. So we received this update via OTA and the update size was somewhere around 115 MB. So here you can see it also brings some new features along with some improvements and some bug fixes. Here you can see the update size which is 118 MB. And guys now before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Now straight away let's talk about the features what they have added. Under new features now they have added the option to hide this navigation bar and that can be found in the settings system under gestures. Going to navigation mode, tapping on this gear icon, here you can see now we have an option called hide navigation bar. If you enable this, by default, mistouch prevention also gets triggered to avoid mistouch while using a device in the full screen. So soon you enable this, you can see the navigation bar have disappeared from the bottom side and if you disable it, it comes back to its original position. And guys, let me know if you haven't updated your device, I've been saying in all my videos about this thing, whether this feature was already available, which lets you disable the swipe gesture for Google Assistant. I'm exactly not sure and I always forget to check this out. So let me know in the comment section below. After that, they have done some changes layer to widgets also. So whenever you long press on the widget, previously we used to get an edit option towards the bottom side, but now you have similar pop-up what you get to see with other applications. I'll also show you a screenshot how it used to appear. So whenever we used to long press previously, we used to see these two options towards the top side. One is remove and, and the second one is widget setting. But now if you long press, those two options come in the form of pop-up menu and it's not only with one widget this thing have been implemented in all the widgets and after that one change what they haven't mentioned here in the change logs now we also have the widget support of date so let me add this widget on the home screen and this is how it looks tapping on settings you can also enable show day of the week so if you enable that this is how it looks and I like the color ascent here you have the date in big font with black color and day in a smaller font with red ascent and that looks quite nice. And after that, finally, nothing made a change in the Glyph interface, which I was expecting from a long time. So previously, if you see this brightness slider of Glyph interface, or you can say the Glyph light, we had three different options and it doesn't used to work whenever we used to slide this brightness slider. But now you can slide and change the brightness level, which comes in quite handy most of the time because I always used to have difficulties tapping on the exact point because this brightness slider is quite small and I appreciate this integration by nothing. After that with the camera application also they made some changes now we do have the support of Ultra HDR feature. So soon after installing nothing OS 2.5.6 you'll see the HDR in action and that thing will be seen in the top menu. Previously we only had the option of live HDR but now you can control the HDR settings from the top menu itself. You can disable HDR, you also have the option to enable Ultra HDR. So whenever you see this red text with a dot that means Ultra HDR is in action. Along with that now gallery application or you can see the camera applications have a support of XDR display. So that can also be found in the settings. So here in the settings also you will see store in Ultra XDR. And if you see the description, it says elevate HDR photos by increasing the brightness accuracy. And it also says this may increase the file size. So first of all, if you guys are not aware, XDR is basically a display technology which is optimized for HDR content and overall enhances the visual experience by delivering more realistic, vibrant and detailed brighter images. So now if this feature is enabled and if you click any photo and once you open the gallery application, you'll see increase in the brightness. So these are some of the new add-ons what they have done now talking about the improvements. Improvements are not much. They have introduced a recovery mechanism for abnormal call state to improve call quality. I don't make much of calls but whatever calls I've made, I never had any kind of issues. And the next improvement or you can say it's a privacy feature. So previously whenever we used to get a call and if we don't want to attend the call or if you are trying to turn off the screen, the screen used to wake up again and again. But now that has been fixed by nothing and now if you are getting any call, you can easily turn off the screen by pressing the power button. It doesn't wake up anymore. Then they have also added the support to send or receive SMS while 5G in use with some carriers. I'm not sure whether that thing was restricted here. Some carriers may have some issues but it's been taken care by nothing. 
and at last they have also added the Vio Wi-Fi calling support but it was already there with our carriers like I've used Jio, Airtel and Vodafone and I never had any kind of issues layer to Wi-Fi calling. Again they have mentioned some certain carriers. And when we talk about some bug fixes, so one of them is layer to recording problems. I don't record calls so can't say much about it whether some users had this issue or it was present on our device. And another fix is layer to UK and the last fix is layer to volume bar which used to pop up again and again when connected to car Bluetooth. So guys these were the fixes and new add-ons what nothing have done for nothing phone one. If you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below. This is a friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.